In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most infamous trading indicators, and that's RSI. We're going to talk about how to use it and how not to get wrecked, because a lot of times people oversimplify this trading method. So in a nutshell, you may be asking yourself, what is relative strength index? So I'm going to give you how I learned. Um, pretty much you can say that it's overbought and oversold, but I learned using a sports analogy. So if you want to go with that, you can say, okay, if Michael Jordan averaged 30 points per game uh, for the season and during the finals, he started averaging 45 points per game. What's the likelihood that he would continue to average 45 points per game or would he come back down to his normal average of around 30 points per game? And this is kind of what you're going to get between overbought and oversold to kind of get an idea of future price action. Uh, ultimately, you have three points that you can kind of use it for. There's a few more, but these are the main ones. Uh, validate trends and reversals, predict future trends, and short-term buy and sell signals. Overbought is technically, when you turn on your RSI indicator, you're going to see overbought anytime it hits around 70. Oversold is going to be at their 30 mark. And you have some, uh, it's kind of a lagging indicator, but you'll have some momentum in here and you'll kind of see it along with the candlesticks. Now, what they don't tell you as far as for how to not get wrecked is it's not always as simple as 30 and 70. Okay, um, I'm going to sell here. I'm going to buy here, sell here. Most of the time, sometimes it does work out that way. This is an indicator that I use, but keep in mind that when you get to the overbought section and you're validating that with candles or you get a doji, uh, a shooting star or something like that, that's not always an indicator that it's going to go the opposite direction. What they don't tell you, what's not often taught on RSI is things can say can stay uh, overbought for a really long time. It does not mean it's an automatic reversal just because it hits 70. So how do you avoid that and not get wrecked? So there's a couple of things that you can do when you are, um, you, you all, first of all, always use this as a, um, second measure second third measure if you don't know how to read candlesticks i'll be putting out some videos to help you with that as well but you want to couple this with um, your candles to say that okay is this have we broken trend in the overbought section now that we're overbought have we broken trend and, and second of all you want to say are we consolidating because if you consolidate you can have a point where this can go you know just sideways and not get that necessarily that breakdown just yet you want to say, okay, when do we get that break trend? When do we break trend here? And then we can say, okay, now we're getting ready to descend. Not just because it hit 70 here. It's going to say that, okay, well, we got a doji and stuff like that. And, oh, this is going to be an indicator that we're going to go back down. Have we broken trend? That's what you want to ask yourself to put so that you're not putting yourself in a bad situation. Always practice. Never use indicators alone by themselves and do your due diligence. My name is David Mitchell. Thank you for attending my whiteboard talk on RSI. Try it, try it.